This Thank was you. so much fun. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yeah, this, this is great. Is great. <laughs> Genuinely, one of the craziest interviews of all time. I literally am drenched in sweat. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thanks so much. So lovely. Lovely talking Thank to you. Nice to see you in Cuban. Hi, I'm Anya Taylor Joy. And I'm Nicholas Holt. And this is Castmates for ITV Presents. Which we skewered, but enjoy. ITV Presents. <laughs> ITV presents. IGV. <laughs> IGV. Ooh. Okay, well, again. That again. Hi, I'm Annie Taylor Joy. <laughs> I'm Nicholas Holt. And this is Castmates for IGV. 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 IG, IG, what? IG, right? Fuck. This one's fun. What's my character's full name in Stranger Things? First and last name. And I can even add the middle name if you want. There's a middle name? I've, I've made a middle name. You've made it your own. It's so it's, mine. It's, it's not it. canon, is it? No, 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 no. They could be, but could it's be. not like on like his driver's license or anything. Do you even know his first name? It's Dustin. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's very similar to my mom's maiden name. And I'll give you a hint, which is Hendrickson. Dustin. Henderson? Henderson. Henderson, yes it is yeah. Dustin Henderson. Let's you go. got it, dude. His middle name in my book is Clarence. Dustin Clarence Henderson. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I like it. Dan, it must have been weird waking up to find you were cast as Wolverine, right? Mate, that's been happening to me semi-annually for the last three years. Um, I, Why yeah. did you just do it? Because then no one's asking me in reality, <laughs> Sandra. It's just like Twitter Wolverine speculation. People, can you please no, just do fucking cast him? Don't do him. this. Um, <laughs> just do it. Stop. Tiptoeing around and having people ask at press junk and just cast the man. Oh, you're another agent of Marvel. Yeah, can, can I just? I'm so pleased I asked that question. Yeah, no, I, yeah, it's never happened. Yeah. Stormzy lives down the road from me, and he came over a few months ago to have a FIFA tournament, and it ended up being him and Twain, my mate. They were playing each other, and I was so glad it wasn't me, just because Stormzy is amazing at FIFA, and he would have beaten me like 12 nil. I was driving my car, and I saw this guy walking a Rottweiler, and I was like, wow, look at that dog. And I looked up and went, oh, bloody hell, Mike. And I wind the window down. I said, we're going to the pub to watch the football. Do you want to come? And he was like, yeah, sure. So he came, and then we've been hanging out ever since, really. Hello. Hi. So, in this movie, obviously, you're stuck in the street. So I don't know if you know, but in real life, you have your own conspiracy theory online. I do. Yeah, that you and Emma Mackey are the same person and you speak French in this film, which she is. Her French is far better than mine. That will put the conspiracy to rest immediately. She also speaks Spanish really? and she also has an amazing singing voice. And well, I cannot speak Spanish. I'm not fluent in French and I don't have an amazing singing voice, as you will also find out in this movie. So I think that will finally put that conspiracy to rest. We're not the same person, but we are friends and I love her. What would you say sets House of the Dragon apart from Game of Thrones as an original story? Oh, the hair, darling. <laughs> For one, the beautiful hair. You've never seen Targaryen. Mind you, Daenerys had beautiful hair. Yeah. But this is the finest Targaryen hair you've seen since. They're all over the gaff. Serving Targaryen realness, darling. <laughs> True or false, when filming The Queen's Gambit, I actually took part in a World Championship chess tournament. You actually took place in a World Championship? I actually took part in a World Championship chess tournament. You say that like it happened, but I, I think... actually took part in a World Championship chess tournament. False. Yeah, false, false. <laughs> You said that in a way that nearly got me. Who's most likely to be the best marriage material? Harley Quinn, Black Canary, or Poison Ivy? I'm gonna go with Harley Quinn. I just love me some Harley Quinn. That's the thing. Yeah, I think so. Do you want Megan Thee Stallion to be Wesley? playing? Wesley, <laughs> that's where you're gonna I, get I me in trouble. I saw that clip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion will be playing in the background, yeah. Playing WAP in the background. What? <laughs> what? Hi Tom, congratulations on the film. It is absolutely incredible. So obviously Top Gun Maverick has all the stunts that we could ever dream for and more. Were there any moments in this film or across your career where you thought, this could not end well here? Yeah, many times. <laughs> many times, many times. I'm mean, like, I don't know, this is such a good idea, but we're in and let's go. So, yeah. We just, listen, it was very intense and it was how do I prepare the actors for this? How do I prepare, not just the actors, but the pilots? 
I had to teach the actors about aviation, about editing. I had to teach the pilots about how to edit and cinema. I had to educate the studio on what kind of film we're making because the things we were doing had never been done before. And I'm thankful that people were committed to doing it because you know, I knew that I knew that at the very least we would have something special with it if, if everyone was committed and on board. Something special it was. I spent a lot of my time trying to just educate people as to what it is we're doing and because the things that we're trying and things that I've thought about for many years with this film, I've been developing this for a long time. What does simp mean? Simp. Put yeah. it in a sentence, like, because you no, just keep uh, okay. saying it, like... He's such a simp for her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, sad. When someone is overly submissive to someone they fancy, usually used to describe men yeah. chasing a partner when they're showing no signs of them being into them. So basically someone who's, like, whipped. Right, yeah. Like a whipped, yeah, a whipped yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations on an incredible performance, mate. Um, how long did it take you to master the Elvis voice and the rubber legs? I, I had a year and a half before we started shooting. And, and six months of that time was, was when the movie shut down for COVID. So I had about a year where I was, it started with me absorbing every bit of footage and interviews and every, every reading every book that was written on his life. And then I had a period of time where I worked with the greatest coaches in the world, where I had a, uh, was an amazing singing coach and dialect coach and my movement coach Polly Bennett and a karate instructor and it was it was like my days were just jam-packed working with these incredible professionals uh, in, and experts in their field and then we were getting ready to film and then the movie shuts down and suddenly I had six months where it was just me in my room by myself and that was a time where it really marinated where it really started to feel like it was surface level and it started to go down into my marrow, if you will. And uh, yeah, so that, that, was, that was the amount of time. I didn't do anything else for those that, that year and a half before I started shooting. Rob, so many people are excited to see you take on Bruce Wayne and Batman. Um, and this is something I've never asked in an interview before, but apparently it's because of your jawline. I guess if you're playing Batman, you need to have a very strong jawline. Did you know that a couple of years ago, a team of scientists actually voted you as the most handsome man of the world. I did know that. He does. You yes. did? Yeah. Well, I know, because it's fact. <laughs> it's science. It's science. <laughs> also, it was like, I would love to meet the scientist. Yeah, I would also like to meet the scientist. <laughs> because is the scientist a room full of 12-year-old girls? <laughs> Thor never goes anywhere without his hammer. What are your on-set essentials? What's your must-have? Um, well, I actually learned this from Chris, is the yoga mat. You have a yoga mat, and then you can like lie down wherever you are and elevate your feet. Cause you know, I'm wearing heels all the time cause I'm super short. Um, and you know, they need to get me in like the same frame as Chris, which is very- Heels in a heavy costume as well. I imagine it's quite, so quite- Whenever you get a break, you get to lie down, put your feet up, it's good. What year was the original The Lion King released? Was it 1994, 1995, or 1991? 95. No, oh no, no, 94. 94. No, 91. Wait. 91. It was the year that I was born, and um, like simultaneously in the theater when Simba was held up, I was held up at the same time. So it's like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Your pookie! Yeah, exactly. Yes. That's precisely how it happened. Who would you rather go on a night out with? Daenerys, Damon, or Cersei? Damon. 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 Yeah. Emma Darcy. Look, um, <laughs> you are. Um, definitely Damon then. <laughs> I think Cersei. I'd like to go on a night out with Cersei. Yeah. Just be like, <laughs> wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just all the goals. When's my birthday? <laughs> you just had your birthday. October 5th. Yes, sir. Happy birthday. Thank you. My Thank girlfriend's birthday is October 5th. That's why I know. And she's like, did you wish Jacob a happy birthday? I'm like, I didn't. And I can't believe I forgot. Happy birthday, Thank buddy. You. That's why Thank you're 16 you. now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Now October here's some 5th. math for you though. Oh. What year? <laughs> oh my gosh. No. <sighs> <laughs> Hello, lovely to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. Oh, thank you, you so much. Insane. You were absolutely uh, hilarious as well. I hope that's insane in a good way. Thank of you. Of course, yes, that. always. 
I wanted to ask you, obviously Amsterdam in this movie is a place where characters feel free and happy. Yeah. Yeah. For you, what has been your Amsterdam over your career, whether it's a moment or a project, what's yeah. it been for you? Yeah, no, well, um, it's, it's a few things, you know, I think it's any moment when you're just dedicated to one thing and immersed in it, so it's my family, right? It's, it's going on motorcycles, um, uh, it's, it's when a film is going well, and then also realized uh, today talking with a gentleman from Portugal, uh, it's uh, Portugal, because when I was 10, uh, my family, we just kind of ran away from England. I didn't go to school. I ran away in a farming, uh, ran around in a farming community in Portugal and just had the best time ever, riding around on scooters at 10 years old, you know, uh, and whatnot. So that was, that was absolutely idyllic. Butters. <laughs> <laughs> shit, he's, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's butters. If someone's butters. <laughs> Use it in the city. <laughs> Use it in the city. I shouldn't. <laughs> do it. Do it. Come on, do it. Direct nah, it at me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Use him. He's ready for it. Oh, uh, no. Nah, nah, that's wrong. No, do it. <laughs> Use him. Do it. You know, when someone, when, some, when something or someone's butters, um, they ain't looking too good. <laughs> so basically, he's sitting here looking butters, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. No, yeah. What advice do you have for people who always end up being the third wheel on dates? Bring condoms. <laughs> <laughs> and just a in breast case. Bump. Just and in case. Just bring condoms and a breast bump and you're going to be a great <laughs> third wheel. I promise that's how you do it. Just, you know, have her back and have some condoms for her. Just in case. <laughs> yeah. Can you add anything to that? I don't think I can. Maybe a, a, a hydraulic gel or... Hydraulic gel? Not hydraulic. How do you say it in English? The... Loop? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that, would, that, went, that came out really wrong. Oh gosh, yeah, honey. Um, including my middle names. My partner doesn't even know this. What is my full name? Oh, I've got no idea. So my real name is Anya Josephine. Yeah. And then my middle name is Marie. Yeah. And then it's Taylor Joy. So I have exclusively like first names the whole way through. I would have got that if but you only, give me a second. Sorry, <laughs> but only one person calls me Anya Josephine and that's when I'm in trouble, so it's right, fine. Okay. Yeah. The weirdest thing people don't know about me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we, if, if we've got something left. <laughs> No. Why would we tell you? Yeah, exactly. You found our one remaining secret. I will secret. cling <laughs> to whatever I can at this point. <laughs> um, I did, I actually grew up, uh, I, I, I know a few magic tricks and like some really good ones. Yeah. And I did one on my friend a while ago and he was like, how have I never seen you do these? And I was like, because I don't go around doing magic tricks for a very yeah. obvious reason. <laughs> Um, who, out of all of your co-stars from all of your movies, who would you least like to be traveling through time and space with? Ooh, now this is a good question. Who, who would I least like to be traveling through time and space with? Hmm. God. Now that's a tough call. Maybe, how about, how about who would I most want to be? You know what I mean? I, I don't want to undercut anybody. Who would I most want to be traveling through time and space with? Um, I'll say Downey. I, I, I feel like he would just have solutions and and a calming energy and I would just trust what he said even if impending doom was around the corner. Did you know there was an online rumor saying that you were one of the favorites to be the face of the person of Time Magazine 2022? <laughs> False. That, that's, that's genuinely true. False. <laughs> Would you rather never play Spider-Man again or never play Nathan Drake again? Oh, that is a very, very tough question. How do I answer that question? I mean, Spider-Man is like an extension of myself. So if I was to say I would never play Spider-Man again, it would be like shutting off part of who I am. So it would have to be, unfortunately, Nathan Drake. I would play Spider-Man again. It would, be, it would be very, very sad to say goodbye to the beloved Peter Parker. For sure. Just a quick one on that. If you were to never play him again, like how happy would you be with how things ended in No Way Home? I think what I've been saying is that if it is my time to step down and let the next person step up to the plate, uh, I would do so really proudly. You know, knowing that I've achieved everything that I wanted to achieve in this franchise. Uh, sharing that moment with Toby and Andrew will forever be a highlight of my career. Seeing audiences react to their entrance to May's death, uh, 
to the end of the film and that massive sacrifice that Peter Parker makes. So if it's time for me to step down, then I will do so happily and proudly. Uh, but whether I want to do that or not, honestly, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. And finally, Matt, I have to tell you this. Uh, my cousin Cameron is the biggest Doctor Who fan and he's such a huge fan of yours. He's been telling me about all of the Game of Thrones and Doctor Who acting crossovers that we've already had. So my final question to you is who out of all of your castmates on this show would you like to see in Doctor Who and what kind of character would you have them play? Oh, that's a very good question. Oh, <laughs> Paddy would make a good Doctor. Be a good Dalek. He, no, you, <laughs> you would make a good Doctor. I don't know. Mad doctor. Um, I always said Reeves would make a good doctor. A nasty as well. doctor. Give it a fucking good job. <laughs> Amazing. Well, it was lovely chatting to yeah. you both. And send Cameron my love. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Stone Street. Hi, I'm Margot. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.